Social networks are beginning to blur together. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Social networks change all the time. They get new layouts, update features, but lately, with every update, these networks are starting to all look and act alike. Take LinkedIn, for example. The career-focused network is adding big background pictures to profiles. Well, Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter all have these similar cover photos to convey personality. Now, LinkedIn says backgrounds will help you stand out, just like every other network. Right now, it's only for paid members, but in a few months, everyone will be able to add a background photo. The copycats are everywhere. The app Tinder is acting like Snapchat. It has the option to send a photo that vanishes, but instead of a few seconds, Tinder's flirty photos expire in 24 hours. Instagram updated its app. You can edit a photo in more ways and adjust filter intensity with a sliding bar. It's nice for Instagram fans, but Adobe may feel like it's stealing the spotlight from Photoshop Express. And Facebook is getting heat for a change that adds features that are similar to Shazam. On Facebook's app, when you're writing a status update, it will listen to the noise in the background to identify any music or TV shows that are playing in the background. And you'll have the option to share what you're listening to in your status update. That means there's a computer server somewhere that's tapped into your microphone. One YouTube video is going viral, calling for people to delete their Facebook accounts over this and other unnecessary data collection. Obviously, not everyone's going to delete Facebook, but a call to action could get Facebook's attention. To survive, Facebook may need to care more about consumer privacy and less about promoting music and TV shows. Now, as for updates that won't creep you out, the Google Chromecast streaming stick is getting sporty. It added access to the apps Watch ESPN and Major League Soccer. So if you have the $35 HDMI TV stick and you have the account information for a cable subscriber that gets ESPN, well, you'll be able to watch all the World Cup games live through the ESPN app. You could use this as a way to stream the game on a TV that doesn't have its own cable box, or you can mooch coverage from a friend who does pay. Chromecast also added the ability to stream your photos and videos from Google Plus to the TV, and it added the Aereo app. So if you're in a participating area, Aereo is a subscription service for accessing live local broadcast stations. That's your tech news update. You can always head to CNET.com for the latest news and stay updated by following me on Twitter. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.